The Sound and the Furry, a novel by Spencer Quinn, is the sixth book in the Chet and Bernie mystery series. It follows the adventures of private detective Bernie Little and his loyal dog Chet, who narrates the story. The duo operates the Little Detective Agency in the Valley, which is located in the southwestern United States. In The Sound and the Furry, Chet and Bernie head to Louisiana to investigate the disappearance of Ralph Boutet, the inventor brother of the wealthy oil magnate Godfrey Longchamp. Godfrey's oddball son, Bayou, had previously met Bernie and requests their help personally. On arrival, they quickly immerse themselves in the culture of the Louisiana bayous, where they find the dynamic between the locals and outsiders, often those involved with the oil industry, to be fraught with tension. Things take a turn when they learn that Ralph had been working on a secret and potentially lucrative project before vanishing, involving a process to detect oil that rivals those employed by the big oil companies. Ralph's recent association with an organization opposed to the oil industry raises suspicions of his motives, loyalty, and even his well-being. Chet and Bernie encounter a colorful cast of characters throughout their investigation, including Boutet's neighbors, various members of the oil community, and less savory individuals involved in local crime. As they delve deeper, their inquisitiveness ruffles feathers, drawing danger not only to themselves but also to those helping them, like the witty and defiant reporter Idabel Arsenault, who is determined to uncover the truth behind the environmental damage caused by the oil companies. As the investigation progresses, Bernie's keen detective skills come into play, relying on various leads and his own intuition. Chet, with his acute canine senses, proves essential in tracking scents, guarding Bernie, and occasionally rescuing him from perilous situations. Chet, although easily distracted by snacks and the odd passing squirrel, shows unwavering loyalty and is the brawn to Bernie's brain. A significant break in the case comes when they encounter Sniffer, a local boy with an extraordinary sense of smell that parallels Chet's own abilities. Sniffer provides insights into Ralph's invention, which takes advantage of similar olfactory gifts to pinpoint oil deposits. The case becomes more complicated when they stumble upon a murder linked to Ralph's disappearance. The victim is Lou Bell, a woman with connections to an individual named Frenchy Boutet, who serves as another suspect and complicates the network of alliances and betrayals Bernie and Chet must sift through. Tension peaks when Chet and Bernie are attacked and realize the stakes are much higher than they anticipated. The duo narrowly escapes numerous life-threatening situations, indicating that powerful players are desperate to stop Ralph's technology from surfacing and will go to great lengths to ensure their oil businesses remain unchallenged. Bernie's relationship with Godfrey Longchamp and his corporation's looming presence is a consistent undercurrent throughout their investigation. Godfrey desires to keep local mechanisms under his control, while Bernie confronts ethical dilemmas, considering the devastating environmental impacts of irresponsible oil exploitation. In parallel to their pursuit of the missing inventor, the relationship between Chet and Bernie deepens. Chet's observations often provide humorous and poignant insights into human nature and the loyalty between a man and his dog, adding an emotional depth to the narrative alongside the mystery plot. Their persistence eventually uncovers the truth about Ralph's whereabouts and his invention. Ralph had indeed come up with a groundbreaking way to locate oil, but his success made him a target. It turns out that Ralph's own attempts to navigate the treacherous waters of environmental advocacy and the cutthroat oil business precipitated his downfall. After facing multiple threats and outmaneuvering various foes, Chet and Bernie rescue Ralph, ensuring his safety and the protection of his invention from those wishing to exploit or destroy it. In doing so, they uncover corruption rooted deep within the local community, implicating some in crimes far beyond the original scope of the investigation. In the midst of the chaos, Chet's strength and instincts as a dog repeatedly save Bernie from deadly encounters, often with Chet not quite understanding the human implications of their adventures, but always knowing that his role is vital and that he is happiest by Bernie's side. In the conclusion of The Sound and the Furry, Ralph's innovation has the potential to change the oil industry. Chet and Bernie's bond is stronger than ever, 
and readers are left with a mix of satisfaction and anticipation for the next book in the series. The Louisiana setting adds a lush and atmospheric backdrop to the novel, replete with cultural quirks, regional accents, and descriptions of the bayou environment that provide an immersive reading experience. Overall, The Sound in the Furry is a thrilling and whimsical tale of mystery and friendship, blending suspenseful action with the charming perspective of a detective dog and his human partner. Through the dynamic storytelling, Spencer Quinn explores themes of loyalty, environmentalism, and the complexities of human and animal relationships, all while delivering an engrossing crime-solving adventure. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.